Alright. Are you ready for some bonds? Let's see how people are doing. Yeah, Liberty, I guess. Let me guess. You're gonna talk to Urban. Oh, that's bad. Uh, should I stop at the bottom again? Yeah, sure. Just Sophia. Helena! Hey! Gosh. Hmm. Are, are you alright? Yes, just a bit startled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry if that's my fault. Anyway, I had something I wanted to tell you. I... Sophia? Yeah? If you will, allow me to ask you something first. Uh-huh. Oh, sure, alright. Do you understand the value of silence? Well... Oh, definitely. Whenever I'm out in the woods, I try to move re real quiet so the animals don't hear me. That way I get to see them doing all sorts of things. Eating, climbing, playing. If I'm too loud, they get scared and run away. See it now? Have you ever considered the same principle might apply to humans? Like, sneaking up on them and watching them eat? Doesn't that seem a little creepy? Or perhaps, reverencing the silence when you find them in prayer. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about yourself. I get it now. It's easy for you to get scared when and, and want to run away like an animal. No. That's not what I meant. Uh-huh. No need to honeycoat things or at me. Believe me, I get it. I won't be a pine cone in your hair. See ya. <sighs> Sophia, wait. Mm. Hey, I just wanted to tech to check in. All this talk of revolution, facing Varric head on, it can't be easy. No. No, it isn't. But I didn't become a soldier because I thought it would be easy. Mm. Oh, fun. The taste of soap is going away from my water bottle. You don't mind me asking, why did you become a soldier? I've never heard you say much about your past. Indeed. Yes, well, perhaps for a good reason. In Caramont, when I was still a boy, my parents, both politicians, they sent me to live away from the capital. Greatest gift they ever gave me, really. The family I lived with in the countryside was quite traditional. They practiced the way of oaths. I found it primitive at first, but there was a beauty in its simplicity. Naturally, when I came of age, I took up my own oath. It was just it was just what we did. Who'd have thunk? And let me guess. You swore if you ever met two Aramoran princesses you'd contradict everything you had to they had to say? <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. It was a simple oath, really. I swore to do what was right, even when it was hard. Even when it came at a great personal cost or inconvenience. By your grace, Fane. I swore to be more loyal to the truth. Than whatever else might suit my needs. It's a beautiful oath. With honor. And when a herald came from the Delian Officers Academy, I saw a chance to live it out. To set out on a hard road for a higher purpose. To give my life for the protection of those who couldn't defend themselves. And now, now, now you fulfill that oath. In every decision I've ever seen you make, you've lived it. Through and through. The king we once served can't come close to saying the same. We're the revolution the Delian people need, Lincoln. This is our highest purpose now. I cannot fail my oath. At this point, I've already bet everything on you being right. Let's hope you are. Definitely. I am. Just a feeling you've got? Exactly. Your mother is going to be fine, Irving. She's tougher than she looks. So am I, Aunt Liberty. I won't crumple just because she's gone. We'll get her back. I'll keep that in mind. Alright. I forget you're not little Irving anymore. It's been too long, truly. You were reporting on us in Alistair, weren't you? When we were kids. Of course I was. He missed you dearly. Timing just doesn't always work out. I know. I'm not bitter about it. He has a lot on his shoulders. <sighs> it's alright to resent him for it. 
you know. He may have a lot on his shoulders, but he knew he would. He knew he wouldn't be able to stay. And the alternative is me not standing here, alive. I think I'll take an absent father over not being here. Maybe so. Just don't want you to hold all of this all in and be brave. We can talk about it if you want. Where did you get so... When did you get so maternal? Hmm. When I felt it was necessary, thank you very much. I may have never wanted kids of my own, but no one was happier than me when I heard... <laughs> so, how do you pronounce it? Hang on. Phone. Is my phone on? Did I turn off my phone? It didn't. Google Translate, help. Google Translate, help me. Esme. No idea if you heard that. But Esme is what Google Translate says. Hmm. Right. It's a little surreal to think we're both members of a secret society. It sort of shatters my illusion of just being a normal kid. We wanted... We wanted for you to get to be just a normal kid. Excuse me, I said that a little backwards, but you get the point. That's why we kept you in Brookstead. Away from Chelabons. The family commitments sound a lot more glamorous than they play out still. Well, looks like they turned out to handle family matters either way. Funny how that happens, isn't it? I don't think it's funny at all. I feel sorry that you've been, been brought into this don't life. Worry. I'd rather it be me than someone else. I can take it. That's what I'm worried about. Rose, I guess I should welcome you back to the outside. Things have probably changed a lot since you last remember them, and not for the better, I'm afraid. <sighs> Trust me, anything beats being locked up in Durban. I'm sure. I couldn't believe the conditions when we got there. It's no wonder many of the prisoners followed us back to Marrow Hole. <laughs> a day in that abyss hole would make just about anyone want to overthrow the king. What about you, though? What brought you here? Circumstance, I guess. Monroe hired me as a bodyguard and assistant of sorts. Can I be honest with you about him? Mm. Of course. He kind of scares me. That sounds right. Yeah. He's not great at first impressions, but he's pretty harmless once you get to know him. After seeing him fight, I'm not sure that's a word I would... <laughs> it's not a word I'd describe him that way. It's good to know, though. I don't think you have to worry about... I don't think... You have anything to worry about. Not from him, anyway. I guess so. Plenty of other things trying to kill us, right? That's right. Which is why it's good to have more than... Which is why it's good to have more... One more person watching my back. Uh -huh. You can count on it. Hello, Rose. What is it you're working on there? Um... Hmm? Oh, uh... Making sure my bow stays in good shape. Huh. I didn't quite expect you to be the upkeep type. Have you been working with bows for long? Mm -hmm. Really long, actually. My dad is a Fletcher back in Red Hill. I'm with you. And he brought you into the family profession pretty early then, I take it. As soon as I could understand basic gestures, yeah. <sighs> How fun. I spent a lot of time working on crafting in Everhearth. Do you mind showing me a little bit of what you're doing? Uh -huh. Not at all. It's nothing complicated. How did someone like you end up in Everhart? <laughs> someone like me is an adept? Sorry! Oh, oh, no, oh gods, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Someone like you... Someone... Someone like you, like, you know, a human. Oh, well, that's sort of a long story, actually. I don't mean to pry. I'd rather not. No, I don't mind talking about it. It can just be a little draining. I think another time would be better. Of course. I really didn't mean to push it. <laughs> I feel you, Rose, honestly. Rose, it's okay, really. I'm happy to share. I just want to give my mind a break. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, there's the soap taste again. Alright, I know just the thing. Help me warm the bow, and I'll show you how to string it. <laughs> Delightful. I want to learn all about this. 
Rose, I'm glad we found you in good health. Um, yeah. For the save. <laughs> you all came in just you all came just in time. Had any word got out gotten out beforehand about the executions? Yes. Did anyone know that Ver Varric was planning to empty the entire prison? <gasps> he was He was planning to execute everyone? Sweet. It's what our lit intel led us to believe. Forgive me. Was that not your impression? Um. Not at all. They had heard there were plans to do away with a handful of disobedient prison prisoners, but nothing like that. I see. Either way, it's a good thing we didn't wait long enough to find out which was right. Uh -huh. That's for sure. Hmm. I'm sure you were frightened, regardless. I know I would have been. I guess so. I tried to stick to the rules on the inside. The last thing I wanted to do was draw any unnecessary attention to myself. I wasn't too worried about getting picked, but it sounds like I should have been. There's no need to worry now. Not about that, anyways. <laughs> Plenty of new dangers to worry about, right? That's correct. Yes, that's right. Hey, Rose. Hey, Rose, right? That's a pretty name. You think so? Hey, thanks, Sophia. Were you named after the flower? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Ta da! Aw, I love roses. They're beautiful and they smell amazing. Just like. <laughs> it's such a weird thing uh -huh. to say. Thanks? I think. <laughs> oh, Sophia. I think if I ever had babies, I'd name them all after flowers. That'd be my little garden. They'd be my little garden. I hope they wouldn't get made fun of, though. Hmm. Didn't that happen? Did that happen to you growing up? Did your all? Did all your friends call you rosy cheeks, or, or what about every rose has its thorns, huh? You ever hear? You hear that one a lot? Actually, I didn't grow up around a whole lot of people. Huh? Really? Me neither. I spend as much time in the I spend as much time in the woods as possible. Cities are great and all, especially for the people. But there's not much to look at. Nature, I could get lost in, and I mean lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be dangerous sometimes. Just to go with a buddy when you can. <gasps> hey, that's a great idea. Huh? We should be nature buddies. We can go exploring like we used to when we were kids, but together. I guess so. Oh sure. That could be fun. Uh -huh. Awesome! Next time I'm a bit... Next time I'm bit by the nature bug, I'll swing by and grab ya. Sounds good. Oh, Sophia. Whoa! Uh, that's not Alden. Alden? Alden, be careful. Wow! Did you see the size of that spell? I did. You're lucky I wasn't any closer, or I might have felt it, too. I wouldn't have cast it if you were any closer. I'd like to believe that. Well, one thing's certain. Your powers have grown dramatically. You couldn't have done anything like that back at the Academy, could you? Not on purpose, no. Come on. Then what you did at Durvin, blasting the gates open like that? I couldn't believe it. <laughs> to be honest, neither could I. Well, you'd better believe it. You're making a real difference. Our family survived Varric's attack in Berkstead thanks in large part to you. Yeah, actually, I think Alden was a really big part of that. I have two messages, but I don't know from where. I'm so glad Grandpa wasn't hurt. I am too. Hey, Marin. I want to take a second just to say sorry. It'll be alright. It's totally fine. You're right. I was being a bit dramatic. I wasn't even that close to your spell. No, no, not for that. I mean, for that too, but mostly just for the way I've acted sometimes. I know I can be a bit snappy when you're just trying to help, but I've thought about it, and you always mean well. Mm. I just think I lashed out because I wanted to be independent. Alden. Aw, Alden. That's alright. It's good to want to be independent. I know, but I think I wanted more than that. I wanted to prove I could do everything by myself. I don't think that's what I... That's what I... Mm. 
Hang on. I don't think that's what it means to be independent anymore. You helped me see that. It's very wise of you. If it makes you feel any better, I accept your apology. But don't feel bad, really. <sighs> You're just growing up. And even though it's a little sad for me, I'm really proud of you. Huh? Why would you be sad? I don't know. I, it just is. I guess it's sad because it reminds me how much time has passed. But there's... But there's nothing to do about that. That's life. All we've been able to pat At least we've been able to pass time together. Instead of me waiting around at home wondering what's happened to you. <laughs> In some ways, I'm really grateful things played out the way they did. That's sweet. I'm glad you feel that way, Alden. The gods really did bless me with a little brother who amazes me every day. You, didn't have to, you don't have to say that. But thanks. <laughs> now come here. Your hat's getting crooked again. Maybe I've got a pin around that I can stick it in. Let me see. Uh... Lauren, come on. <laughs> hey, well, I gotta check something. Do, 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 do. I don't mean to be rude, Iris, but you're looking a little pale. Are you feeling alright? <sighs> I'm alright. Just exhausted, I think. Huh? Trouble sleeping? I can't help it. Yes, actually. I've been having dreams. Well, more like nightmares, I guess. I see. These dreams, are they about your past? They are. Hmm. Well, I don't want to pry, but if you feel it would help, I'm here to listen. It's strange. Until now, I've never had anyone I could talk about. It. Not since I left home. For the most part, I've tried to avoid remembering what happened altogether. But now I have these dreams. <laughs> Close my eyes and I see their sick smiles and sharp blades. And it's not just the criminals. I see my father, too. The shock on his face when he found me. And sometimes I wake up, sweating. Feel my face hot, burning. Just like it did so long ago. Huh? I'm so sorry, Iris. It sounds awful. <sighs> it is, but... Maybe this is a good sign. In a way... In a way... Like I'm finally ready to come to terms with it. Maybe this means I don't have to bury it anymore. I'd never ask a friend to hide who they are. Or the things that made them that way. Don't ev ever feel like you need to do that around me. Thanks, Mara. Come on. But as a good sign as it may be, I'm sure you'd rather come to terms... ...with things yourself in your waking hours. We should do something about these dreams. Can anything be done? I think so. I want to try something. Here. Mm. What's this? Some kind of medicine? Nectar from a moon bloom. I use it to help me sleep. When you're ready to settle down for the night, mix it with a warm drink. Just a couple drops should do. We'll put a stop to these dreams. <sighs> I know it's known to induce pleasant dreams, but I'm not sure that's true in every case. If your nightmares get worse, don't take any more, of course, and let me know. If you say so. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I really appreciate you trying to help me, Marin. Mm -hmm. I want to, if I can. I trust you. I know. Do you remember when you told me to stay out of... <laughs> do you remember when you told me to stay out of trouble? What now? Oh no, Sophia. What did you do this time? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah? What's so funny then? Well... Well, aren't we just about the most wanted criminals in Delia now? From a certain way of looking at things. But if you ask me, that's because the law got on the wrong side of the people, not the other way around. It's still funny to think about. I remember it so well, you telling me to stay out of trouble. Now you've turned right around and joined a revolution. <laughs> Not even. While we're on the subject, I seem to remember someone telling me they get their ferret out of trouble all the time. <gasps> someone else in our group has a ferret? <laughs> no, Sophia, I'm talking about you. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I've gotten Butter out of all kinds of trouble. It seems to me like Butter gets you out of your own fair share. Uh -huh. It's definitely true. And you have too. You know I can be clumsy sometimes. But it just makes me even more thankful to have so many good friends. 
I know you all have my back. How cute! <laughs> Aw, that's actually a pretty wholesome outlook. I used to get pretty embarrassed over myself, but now I figure, what's the point? It wasn't helping anyone. Sure, I have to re rely on others, but we all do. Isn't that the truth? There's a whole lot of wisdom in that, Sophia. And freedom, too. The kind that lets me be exactly who I am. Definitely. It's a great kind of freedom. It might even be the best kind. I'd say it is. Still a bit left. Probably another 10, 20 minutes or so. Who knows? I don't know time very well. Hey, Elias. I've been thinking about something you said. Hold on. I hope some sharp words of mine haven't been gnawing at you all this time. Not at all. Don't worry about that. Unfortunately, I talk too much for my own good, so you'll have to remind me of just what you're referring to. Mm. What you said about adepts dealing in destruction. Sure thing. Ah, yes. Doesn't seem to have changed much since last I checked. I'm not sure. No. But I've more been wondering, does it have to be that way? Did we actually use our gifts to create instead? To make something new and beautiful? I don't see why not. I've heard Helena speak of adepts perform adept performers in Najan theater. But something like that seems to require a culture that values our gifts. Hmm. What about visual art? Like sculpting, but on a large scale. Or maybe something more practical, like smelting raw materials. My abilities were undoubtedly quite useful to me at the forge during my time in Everhearth. That sounds right. Maybe that's the answer then. Maybe that's our way back to n into New Ilis. New Ias. New Lias. To show the world that we're capable of creating things instead of destroy. Excuse me. I added a, th I added a word in there, Careful. but it's fine. Even if we succeed in demonstrating that, I'm not sure the widespread acceptance of adepts in Elias is realistically achievable in our lifetimes. Maybe not, but it's worth a try. Besides, if it's ever achieved by anyone, someone before them will need to have laid the foundation for that change. If it won't happen overnight today, it won't tomorrow either. I'm with you. You're right. I shouldn't dismiss it. It's just that I've made my peace with leaving home long ago. We both did. But we can't forget the reason why. We never had another choice. We were forced to give up more than the superstitions and threats to our safety, but the traditions too. The art, architecture, history, food, landscapes. We never choose to leave. We never chose to leave any of that behind. I would like to see the inside of a... <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna try. I'm so bad. How about the inside of a bakery? Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt. So long as I got to eat something, that is. <laughs> <laughs> See? If we work for change, we might make that possible for, the, for future outcasts like us. I feel like that would make it all worth it. Maybe it would. Careful. You have a compassionate heart, Iris. The world can take away everything else. But n never let it take that from you. If you want to bring adepts together to create something beautiful and new, count me in. I'd be honored to be a part of that. <laughs> really? You mean that? I mean it. <laughs> Alright, I'll hold you to that, you know. Good. I sincerely hope you will. Alden, how do you feel? <sighs> Fine. Just tired. Understandable. These last few days haven't left much time for rest. Nope. Is the end of this hat charred or something? No, they haven't. But I guess the same is true for everyone else. You're quick to consider the burdens of others. That's the mark of a good that is the mark of a good heart. Thanks. Why do you ask anyways? Has my form gotten worse? You misunderstand. No, not at all. Quite contrary. I'd say your abilities have improved even beyond what I thought was possible for someone your age. That's just it, I suppose. You're quite young to shoulder the burdens we carry. Aw, oh, come on. I don't get why everyone always says that. What we're doing is hard, but it's important. What's the point in waiting until I'm older to make a difference? My own hardships began at an early age, I'll remind you. 
I'm no stranger to these thoughts. It's a curious thing, but sometimes battle shows the best in us. More often, it shows the worst. It's important to remember, even when each day brings new perils, that for most people, most days don't look like ours. That's true. Most of my life in Brookstead was nothing like this, and that wasn't even that long ago. Things change. Exactly. Life consists of many moments. Some of joy, peace, quiet. At times, the beauty of Terrazel is enough to surprise you, or a smile from your friend. The arena. Youth, it's time to discover these truths and hold them. When I entered the arena, I believe I may have lost some of that time. I can only imagine the same is true for you. Actually, I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, back at Swift Harbor, after the battle, when we carried Irving back to the city, the sun set over the ocean. Wow! Boy, I never saw anything like it. Never even saw the ocean before. It was beautiful. But I didn't really want to say anything. It felt kind of wrong to find something beautiful after everything we'd been through. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is, I think our lives have those moments too. You just have to know how to find them. Hmm. I broached the subject in hopes of teaching you something that I wish I'd learned long ago, but I sense I have become a student. Thank you for sharing that reflection with me. Yeah, of course. Thanks for making me think about it. We have chosen a difficult life, Alden, but we must never lose sight of the reason we chose it. Fortunately for us, we've got plenty of good re reasons all around us. Fortunately, indeed. My heart. That was actually so sweet. Alden, ah, oh, Alden, I love you. Amazing. Vesta, if you don't mind, I have some questions about the aspects. How can I assist? I have many questions myself, but if there are any I can answer for you, I will. Perhaps. The aspects you shared with us, were they always in your care at the Temple of Fane? Yes. Each one was assigned to my protection as soon as I arrived at the site. And did you study or examine them in your time there? Hmm. Now, I realized this whole time I've had my fan on, I probably should turn that off. I don't know if you can actually hear it, <coughs> but I don't... My guess is that it would pick it up during when I talk. Who knows, though? The aspects were stored in a locked chest beneath the altar. I was instructed quite clearly that I was not to ret retrieve them or interact with them whatsoever unless they were in danger. Well, hold on. But you did, didn't you? Mm -hmm. da, da, da. How could you not? Agreed. I did look from time to time to assure they were all to ensure they were all accounted for. Then you have long known what I am now discovering for myself. The aspects are dynamic, as if they were alive, or as if something were living within them, like this compass we had retrieved in Varroa. Mm -hmm. Not living within them, but beyond them. The aspects are more akin to windows than cages. Impossible. Windows to what? The gods? That's what Faith would have me believe. But it's difficult to be sure. What I do know is when you or I wield the aspects, we do not do so alone. We share the power with some other entity. And there is a delicate balance of control <laughs> fascinating it's a it's no wonder i feel i could stare at them for hours hmm. you should resist resist the urge to do so elias i'm speaking from experience now there are many immediate affairs that require attention I'm with you yes naturally but with further study i suspect much could be learned from these artifacts as you will just be careful the desire to learn is good but you must temper your hunger for knowledge. It's your thing. Of course. Vesta, I've never had the chance to fight by your side until now, but you're a natural on the battlefield. The Order. The Mystic Council isn't the only secret society with ex ex <laughs> extensive training. Ugh. It appears not. I must have taken considerable effort to keep your skills sharp 
It must have taken considerable effort to keep your skills sharp while you attended the temple in Etlin. I'm afraid not. It wasn't as difficult as you might think. The life of a priestess is governed by discipline. There were times for prayer, meals, services, everything really. <laughs> it was just a matter of setting aside enough time for training. Then you've done it well. Thank you. You know, with everything that's happened, I'm surprised you haven't spent more time in Edlin. <sighs> it was a mistake not to. I grew used to, to high-profile assassination it's occurring at the behest of the council, or at least looking it the other way. But... Basil? Basil's death was the first to blindside us in, in centuries. We'd observed none of the usual signs of instability in Delia, nor abnormal tensions in relations with Aramor. It was an anomaly of the highest degree, and only the first of many. You suspect someone within the council might have been involved? Hmm. Not necessarily, just someone with enough perspective to know exactly how and when to strike, without a strong scent leading back to them. Between the two of us, I pray we'll be able to piece together the whole story. We will. Our partnership is steadfast, Vesta. If anyone can get to the bottom of this, it's us. <sighs> Your confidence is inspiring. I only wish I shared it. Just give it time. This looks like the last one. <laughs> Vesta, we need to talk about our orders back from Chelabon's. Hmm. I was wondering when you would seek me out. Things look grim, don't they? Take heart, Vesta. I only just showed up. Yes, I suppose if anyone could turn the tide, it would be you. Here's to hoping you can make the difference. I believe you can. I don't know I'm quite the weapon I once was. Too many years spent in a dead-end post brewing beer with villagers who don't know how to read. Was it really so bad? Been glorious, Vesta. Best time of my life. I'm sure you know that I never wanted any of this. Uh... Of course, we all know that. What's the news? Al stared at some digging on our little friend from Cosmere, Atlas. He th thinks it's a credible accusation. Well, of course it is. He's been suspected of something, or an he's been suspected of something or other, on and off for years. Yes, but he dug further than that. If you... Hang on. Never mind. I don't have to... Hang on. Yes, but he dug further than that. If you light up his disappearances with certain events in Delia that directly precede the, precede the start... Preceded the start of the war! Oh my gosh! Oh, so hard! You think he had Basil killed and framed the Aramorans? Hmm. Alistair suspects I haven't been as up to date as the politics of it, but even I smelled something off with that. No motive. Precisely. Basil was an excellent king, but whoever that sorcerer was, he clearly had an agenda. Something that the war benefited. Maybe something that required the war. Hmm. You see, I will keep my mind on it. As will I. Is that everything? Yep, it looks like everything. Save to this. Alright. Sorry for that little pause towards the end of that last one. Thought I heard someone possibly coming that would have interrupted, but we're good. Uh, that's the end of this. I'll see you in an actual level where we have to go save Irving's mother. See you then.